So hello and welcome to Learning Python in Bytes. This is Byte 3 and we are going to learn how to create if statements in Python and we will be using them all over for our crime games. <laughs> this is going to be very, very useful. Let's get started. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Curva Learning Portal, Python, by 3, okay? And what we're going to learn today is if statements. And this is an opportunity for us through our game to ask the player things. And uh, very, they are very easy, actually. If you want to follow with the Jupyter Notebook, just click here. It'll take you to GitHub, and then on the Byte 3, you will be able to open it in Collab. And we can get started, I know, it's a bit, but yeah. So, uh, if a statement. So, it, we will be asking the user a ton of questions throughout the game to guide them and to have, you know, to make it interactive. So, you do that with an if statement. We are going to start asking the user if they want to play the game, right? <laughs> so, think that they, imagine that they just stumble across your uh, game and we will ask them. So, you know how to ask users for input now, right? So, first we're going to create a variable called accept challenge that will ask the user, you already know how to do this, we've been doing it in byte one and two, uh, a question, do you want to, or do you accept the challenge? Do you accept the challenge? And then, you know, it's good practice if you tell the users what you expect for an answer. So in this case, we're going to put yes, no, right? And then uh, shift enter. Again, GitHub will complain a little bit and then it will run. Okay, it is running, yes or no, let's write yes for now. And that's it. So now, if the user says, yes, I want to play, we're going to ask them what their name is and welcome them afterwards, right? If the user says, no, I don't want to play, we're going to say bye-bye. That's it's our main goal today. So how do you write if statements in Python? So first we're going to start asking them the question, do you want to play? And then you do like this, if our variable, which is accept challenge, you might say that, you might think that you write equal to yes, but equal is a numerical operator. So you can only do this if you are, you know, saying one plus two equal three, right? If you are comparing things, because what we want here is a true or false response, you do a double uh, equal, okay? And then uh, your yes, so if the user said yes to upset the challenge, every if statement ends up with a double quote. You're going to see double quotes everywhere in Python. Enter, and then you see there is an indentation. Those indentations are important to keep. We're going to store, ask the participant for the name and store it in a variable. Participant, we've been doing that. Participant equal to input what is your name and then we're going to greet them we're going to say um, hello and then the participant participant you know how to do this we've been doing it since byte one and two and uh, we will say like uh, welcome to like that welcome to Curva Crime Lab, okay? Now, if there is an if, there's an else. So else, and then we say uh, print, bye-bye, in case that they don't want to play. So bye-bye, shift enter to execute the code, and then it says, do you want to accept the challenge? Yes, what is your name? Ruth, welcome. Beautiful. Now let's run it again for no. No. Bye bye. Okay, cool. Now let me show you this because it's not really correct. If we run this again, 
And instead of yes, I write maybe. You know, we're humans. <laughs> we, we could answer anything. So, shift enter. Uh, it says bye bye. They're like, why would it say bye bye? It, it makes no sense, right? And here's the thing we said that if the user said yes, ask for the name and print a greeting. Else, it means else, if we don't specify anything else, it means anything else that they might say, say bye-bye. And that's not really what we want. We want to say if, else if, so el if is the short for else if, really neat, accept the challenge equal no, Uh, where am I? Yeah, equal no, then print bye bye. So let's shift enter. And then if I write maybe, it's going to do nothing. We're going to fix that. Don't worry. But that, that's the way it should be. If we now say yes, it will ask us for our name and then say hello. If we say no, it will say bye bye. If we say anything else, maybe. For now, it does nothing, but it will, we will fix it in the next byte, okay? Good. So, your job now is to put byte 1, byte 2, and byte 3 together to do this. So, we're going to run it, and then it will, we will have the introduction that we created before. Uh, all the crime files will be provided uh, to you, but before we do that, do you accept the challenge? Yes. What is your name? Ruth. Hello, welcome. If we run it again and we say, no, I don't want the challenge, it will say bye. If we write anything else, it'll do nothing. Okay? So that's what you need to create for byte 2. And uh, as always, uh, let me know how you're going along with the game, you're enjoying it, anything that you like. Okay? So we'll see you again on the next byte.